In this quick tutorial, I'll show you how to name ketones. The question reads, give the IUPAC name for the following ketone. As you can see, this molecule is a ketone because it has this carbonyl functional group here where you have carbon double bonded to oxygen. And what differentiates an aldehyde from a ketone is that you have two R groups that's connected to the carbon immediately connected to the oxygen. So this right here is a ketone. That being said, we need to count the longest chain of carbons, and it's one, two, three, four, five, five. So we'll write down pent, pentane. Now, since this is a ketone, we drop this E, and we write down O-N-E, so pentanone. Now that we have the base name, we need to number the carbons. We'll start numbering from this side, so we'll call this C1, 2, three, four, and you can write this as five or this one, doesn't matter. The reason why I started from the right side is because this functional group occurs at C2. Whereas if I had started from the left side, it would occur at C4, which is bigger than two. We want to reduce that number as much as possible. So we'll take that into account and write down two pentanone. And also we need to take into account the methyl group. So starting from over here, one, two, three, four. 4 methyl dash 2 pentanone. That right there is the IUPAC name. In question number two, we have a common name, ethyl propyl ketone, and we want to transfer that into IUPAC name. So we're told that it's a ketone, and we know what ketones look like. We know that it will have something that looks like this at some point in the molecule. Also, we have ethyl propyl. Ethyl is a two carbon functional group. So we can write down a carbon here and a carbon here. This represents ethyl. And propyl is a three carbon functional group. So this alkyl group will have one, two, three. All together, this is hexane. And because it is a ketone, we drop the E and write down O and E. And we can say that it's 3 hexanone. That is the answer to question 2. And that is how to name simple ketones. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and we'll gladly help you.